everybody I'd like to welcome you to my brand new YouTube channel this is the audio programmer now I'm just gonna give you a quick overview about what the audio programmer is going to be about audio programming is pretty much anything that has to do with sound coming through your computer and that is a very big subject so I'm not gonna be able to cover absolutely everything and I don't think anybody would be able to but what I'm going to focus this around is primarily around building your own software instruments uh, like VSTs, uh, building synthesizers, maybe uh, working with like an Arduino circuit and um, building an instrument through that um, and also giving you some tools to maybe start on your own audio apps. Now I'm going to assume that you're going to be coming into this with little or no programming experience. So one of the things that I want to emphasize is that I'm going to be taking this very, very slow from the very start, okay? Um, and the reason that I'm doing that, uh, and one of the reasons that I'm doing this channel is because if you go and you search on a lot of these subjects uh, like on how to build a filter or um, on how to build a synthesizer uh, a lot of these subjects can be very complicated very kind of steeped in mathematical theory and what I'd like to do is just really break that down and just really take it very slow um, I'm a very big believer that if you can't explain something simply that you probably don't understand it very well yourself and um, if there's one thing that I've learned over the past two years of programming it's that it's important to know every process that's going on with your code and that if you don't know uh, that can be a good big cause for things to go wrong later on so um, what I'd like to do is just take things step by step as we're doing different things and just really break it down and that helps me as well because I've only been doing this for two years so um, as I'm teaching you I got to make sure I know my stuff so um, I'm gonna be studying a lot making sure that I know what I'm talking about and that in turn will be a better way of hopefully relaying the information to you um, as I said before we're gonna focus this course uh, at least to start with primarily around just getting off the ground with very basic digital signal processing which is um, just things like sample rate uh, Nyquist theory um, digital audio converters analog to digital converters um, what do all these terms mean um, what happens when I'm speaking through this microphone and it's coming in to the computer how does it get processed how does it get turned into binary code and then back out through your speakers into your ears um, those are things that we're going to talk about uh, we're going to talk about uh, synthesizers um, maybe build a synthesis we're going to maybe build a synthesizer step by step together in max msp uh, max msp is a programming language um, it's very quick uh, to kind of get up and running in in Max MSP. Uh, later on, I'd like to give um, some tutorials in um, C++, which is the kind of the industry standard programming language that um, most instrument creators use to um, make their instruments. Uh, also used widely in gaming. And um, I'm going to maybe do some tutorials in Maximilian, which is an add-on um, for C++. Uh, that so an add-on um, is basically like a set of functions, um, a set of useful things that you can bring in to your, um, to your code so you don't have to program absolutely everything from scratch. So these are just useful ways to kind of get up and running quickly. Um, we're also going to hopefully do a uh, starters course on the JUICE framework. JUICE is a framework, uh, which is, once again, just a set of uh, functions and a, and a big library that helps you get things up and running very quickly without having to code everything from scratch. Now, 
I don't know how to use the Jane Juice framework myself. Um, and I thought that it'd be a great exercise for us to kind of learn it together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to study up a little bit on it, and then I'm going to present it to you. And hopefully as I present it to you, I'm learning it better for myself as well. Um, we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to maybe later on build filters, um, build a distortion unit, uh, delays, reverbs, um, and just talk about the theory behind all these things. Um, but as I said, the main thing is that we're going to take it very, very slow um, because I want to be, I want for people to be able to follow along, ask questions. Um, also, uh, there may be the possibility that I may get things wrong from time to time and, um, you know, feel free to comment. Let me know if I don't got <laughs> something quite accurate and, um, you know, we can go back, we can discuss it or, uh, you know, and just really try to make it an open f uh, an open forum for us to have discussion, maybe get some kind of synergy going. Uh, so that's it. So that's basically what this YouTube channel is going to be about. Um, and I will see you on the next video where we will be starting with sample rate, Nyquist theorem, um, that number 44100 that you see in Ableton or Logic. What does that what does that mean? What does it mean um, to have an analog to digital converter um, and things of that nature? So until next time, I'll see you later.